Guys, yesterday, while out and about in Virginia, I finally got to visit Sephora! There's no Sephora in Manila kasi. So, I had, the, I had to get the chance to visit Sephora. I'm gonna show you what I bought. Can I just see? Please do not mind my workout clothes. I just came from a workout, so that's that. <laughs> so these are the things that I bought in Sephora, which I'm very excited about. And I'm just gonna show you a quick um, item that my sister also bought from Sephora. So first of all, I love their, I always love black and white packaging. They're all, they're black and white packaging. And they added this crap paper thing, which is cute. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the paper bag because why not? Okay, the first thing you want I'd show you is this. Alright, so this is this first. The Tarte High Performance Naturals in Blush. And it's blurry in blush. This is the Amazonian Clay 12R Blush in Captivating. So I was looking for something, a color peach, orangey kind of blush because I already have a pink blush and uh, I didn't want just a pink blush. So I saw this and I always wanted Tarte. So here you go, you guys. It's so pretty. I really like it. So that's the first blush. That's makeup. Okay, second blush that I bought and I couldn't say no is this. The Too Faced Peach Papa Don't Peach. So I've always heard good things about this and I'm going to... And then yeah. The Papa Don't Peach and I just I also like the fact that it's peach, peachy, um, very warm and sunny, and I needed a warm and sunny kind of blush. So here you go. This is the Papa Don't Peach, which I'm going to try out and see if it will be in my favorites for the month of June. So yeah, that's the Papa Don't Peach. Next is the skincare. I only bought how many? One, two, three, four, five things in Sephora, but I'm happy already. So the first thing in skincare. Oh wait, I forgot. I also bought Tartus lip paint. I don't know if you can if you guys can see it. Uh why is it always blurry? It's a Tartus lip paint in bounce. So it's it's kind of a orangey mink 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 pink nude pink orangey kind of shade. Wait. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Oh wait, it's not orangey, but it's like Nude, brown, pink, which I always wanted one. So, here I'm gonna show it to you guys. The color, so this is the color. Yeah, whatever. So, this is the color. And you can. I have a problem with this camera. It's not blurring, it's not focusing much. Yeah, this is the color. It's. It's it's like a dark brown with a mix of rose pink and perfect for nude days where I just wanna be all natural and not go all wild with my uh, makeup. So yeah. And then skincare, which I'm very excited about because I've always wanted to buy this. This is the Sun and Park Beauty Water or the toner. I've heard a lot of things about and everyone is obsessed with this so I'm so excited to get 
to try this on. Let's try this one. So, yeah. I also like the packaging because it's just simple and I like things simple. Well, sometimes. I like things simple sometimes. But yeah, I like the packaging and all. It's so big and I'm so excited for this. So this is the beauty water. Yeah! From Sun and Port. And my hair is all weirded up. I'm sorry guys, I don't I don't even make put makeup on because well, I just came from a jog and why would you put makeup on and you know? You gotta see me all natural sometimes. Anyway. So yeah, so that's the Sun and Park Beauty Water. Next is this. The Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. So this is the mask the I've heard of. Um, I think Ashley Benson tried this on in her Instagram stories. Usual Instagram story, so and it's blurry yet again. So yeah, I bought this yeah! and I'm very excited to try this one on. I've always wanted to try some charcoal mask. So I'm gonna try this out and let I'll let you know you guys what how I feel about this. And the last um cave it's a, okay, so this one is a Korean beauty product, which I'm so excited because I've always wanted to try I'm trying to um, begin purchasing a lot of Korean beauty um, products right now because you know I've always heard that Korean beauty products are like the best so I'm trying to invest myself and in all my beauty products to Korean brands already and so far this is the beginning so I'm gonna let you know on my journey to um, K beauty life lifestyle. So anyway, the last Korean beauty product that I bought in Sephora, which I heard from Glow Recipe from Christine um, and Joan Kim in one of their YouTube videos, was the um, moisturizer. Um, of J1 Hannah Cream. Yeah! There. Okay. So this is the J1 Hannah Cream because it's a really one of a kind product. Which I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's not your typical uh, moisturizer where or cream where you get to like just put a pint size and squeeze kind of bottle it's they're they're packaged in like balls small balls that sounds so weird but uh, I, I don't know if you guys can see it though but yeah they're packaged in small balls and they're so cute yeah here yep See, look at that. Okay, so they're packaged in small balls, and they have this mini spatula where you can just scoop it out. And I'm so excited because I've heard good things about this, and it's a glow re recipe recommended product. So I couldn't say no to glow recipes recommended products, and J1 was one of them. I'm so excited. So I have to. Try everything out in my Sephora haul and we'll see. We'll, I'll let you guys know how it feels. My skin type is, well, I'd like to say that my skin type is normal to dry. And sometimes it's just normal, I guess. And when it gets dry, it doesn't really get super dry, but I know it's dry. Like it gets flaky at times. Right now my lips are like flaky because <coughs> it's, it's cold. So. I hate it when it's cold, so it's really flaky. So yeah, these are the things that I bought in Sephora. So I got the Hannah Cream, J1 Hannah Cream, the Sephora, okay, Sephora, or Origins Charcoal Mask, the Sun and Park Beauty Water, um, these two blushes from Too Faced and Tarte, 
and the Tarte lip lip paint in bounce. I also bought like the other wait, the same day yesterday. I also bought some um, eyeshadow and brow with Wiz from Anastasia and eyeshadow from the bomb. But I didn't buy it in so far. I bought it in Navy Exchange. So I'm gonna show it to you guys, or maybe review it in the end of June, and maybe we'll see if it's part of my June favorites. So I'm excited for that too. And I'm just gonna show you a quick thing for what my sister bought. So she's been obsessing over buying some Origins. So she bought this package of all these Origins products. So she also got the so the package was included the what's this the charcoal mask as well the moisturizer oops, eye cream and a cream night night cream yeah yeah so. That's that what she want. She bought. So yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you, Sephora. You make my life so happy sometimes. Thank you, Sephora. You make my life happy always. Every time I get to see this black and white um store. I wish they already opened in the Philippines because I die and like I die in heaven and be super happy because the forest finally in the Philippines so yeah that's it so that's my haul my Sephora haul you guys I hope um, comment down below link uh, share this video um, let me know what you guys think of what I bought it's blurry so comment down below link share and let me know what you guys think what I bought and suggestions on what to buy next trip on my Sephora. So yeah, this is it. Paalam guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.